five history-related shows that will get Outlander fans through Droughtlander. Droughtlander is still going and has another four months to go, at least. As an Outlander fan, you likely want something with history and time travel. Here are five shows to help. Outlander isn't just a love story. It's a fantasy show with time travel and excitement. Based on the novels by Diana Gabaldon, it's clear that hours of research has gone into the history of every country that the Frasers find themselves in. There are stories that take place before and during the Jacobite Uprising of 1745, mentions of the Second World War, Paris 40 years before the Revolution, and the colonies in the build-up to the Revolutionary War. It's the history that draws many people in. So it's not surprising that a show based on history and time travel are the ones you want to get through Droughtlander. After all, there are still at least four more months of Droughtlander to deal with and then we'll have months after Outlander Season 4 has finished. The shows on this list are a mixture of those in the middle of airing and ones that have come to an end or been cancelled. Some are available on Stars, so you can watch them right now with your Stars app access and others are primetime shows or international shows found on the likes of Tulu, Netflix, and Amazon. Here are five history-related or time travel shows that will get all Outlander fans through Droughtlander. Number 5. Timeless. The series may have been cancelled after two seasons, but Timeless is a must-watch for all Outlander fans. It's also one that you'll want to join in with saving, as there's still a chance for the likes of Netflix or Hulu to pick it up and continue. Hopefully, there will at least be a two-hour movie to wrap up the open questions from the season two finale. Timeless is a series all about history and time travel. It starts with a man who steals a time ship to change history. That leads to others going back to prevent history from being changed. Unlike Outlander, the history is only American history. There's also a different time period for each episode so there isn't quite as much focus on the events. However, you'll be transported to times like the Revolutionary War, the Salem Witch Trials, and the Civil War. This is a chance to see real historical figures come to life. No Mark Mees by the way. Watch your favorite shows on Fubo TV. Watch over 67 live sports and entertainment channels with a 7-day free trial. The questions of what if are also answers. What if history changes? What happens to memories when history changes? We find out how our time travelers keep their memories going through time and how the butterfly effect can cause problems for everyone without really thinking it should. Number 4. The Man in the High Castle Take a trip to Amazon for the original The Man in the High Castle. Currently still to air its third season and possibly with a fourth ordered, the alternate history series is certainly one that has entertained many. It's also based on a novel of the same name by Philip K. Dick. The series is all about the what-ifs of history. What if Germany and Japan won World War II? Set in 1962, the series goes into life after the war seeing it from the point of view from different sides, including the resistance that is focused on getting tapes to an unknown man. These tapes turn out to show the past, future, and alternate timelines, making you question whether you're watching a plain alternate history series or delving into the fantasy and sci-fi of timelines. If you like intricate plot lines that leave you guessing, the Man in the High Castle is certainly a show you want to watch on Amazon. Full seasons are dropped at the same time, allowing you to binge watch to your heart's content. The third season should drop sometime this year, continuing the story of two different timelines and what this means for the various characters. Number 3. Victoria If you want something that is based on real history, then you'll want to take a look at Victoria. The ITV drama currently airs on PBS and has finished its second season. A third season has been confirmed and will air later this year. This is all about Queen Victoria of Great Britain. While it's set in the future as far as Jamie Fraser is concerned, it's a series of the birth of the industrial Britain and a look at how difficult it was for a female to rule especially in a time when the government held the power. We get to see Victoria from 18 and onward, as she navigates her new position as queen, the government, and the members of her family causing problems. One of the big reasons you'll want to watch Victoria is to see Nell Hudson in a role that you like. This is the sign of a good actress, when you love her and hate her as different characters. Hudson is in the series from the pilot episode as Miss Scret later given the honorary title of Mrs. Scret when she becomes the queen's headdresser. While she is eventually a character you like, 
There are plenty of secrets and you're not sure what to think of her at first. Number 2. Black Sails When it comes to star shows, there are plenty of history-related options to choose from. The White Queen and the White Princess are two that come to mind, set before the time of Jamie Fraser and Outlander. However, it's not those that I'll focus on. It's all about Black Sails. This series has come to an end recently. But all the episodes are available through the Stars app. It helped to bag Stars a number of Emmy Awards over the years, showing that it isn't just a series for storytelling, but good acting and beautiful cinematography. It was also so popular at San Diego Comic Con before the first season aired that Stars renewed it for a second season. A third and fourth season were picked up before the second and third season premieres. Four seasons long, Black Sails tells an American historical adventure set on New Providence Island and acts as a prequel to the novel Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. It's set in the West Indies in 1715 and tells the story of the maritime trade in Prates. There are plenty of adapting storylines, as the initial focus is on the Arca de Lima Spanish treasure and the growth of the British Empire. Of course, there are also love stories involved. You'll find yourself struggling to find a side. As you know pirates are bad but sometimes they're the best of a bad bunch. You will recognize some of the sets, too, as they are the same ones used for the end of Outlander Season 3. Number 1. Peaky Blinders If you want something that's a little more recent in history then Peaky Blinders is the show to turn to. The British series is currently available on Netflix in the majority of regions and is currently filming its fifth season. Set after World War I. The story is based on the real Peaky Blinders gang. However, the big change is the timing, as the real gang was pre-World War I. It's a loose basis, but there are plenty of other events throughout the story that are based on real history. The story starts after with Tommy Shelby, a small-time Birmingham family man, realizing that life after the First World War isn't all roses and sunshine. The things he had to do in the war seem to have been for nothing and the class system hasn't changed at all. To survive and help his family grow, he turns to forming a gang and becomes the patriarch of the family. With the Irish troubles and communism in Europe both growing, Shelby soon becomes the bad guy that you want to see succeed. You'll see some familiar names in the series, including Tom Hardy, Sam Neill, and Annabelle Wallace. The historical accuracy and storytelling will both pull you into the series and there are love stories to find yourself rooting for.